بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ویلکم ٹو مائی انیدر ویڈیو آن انڈرویڈ ایپ ڈیولپمنٹ اینڈ سو گائز ان دس شورٹ ویڈیو آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو ٹیچ یو ہاو یو کین ری سکن اینی انڈرویڈ ایپ ان انڈرویڈ سٹوڈیو اوکے سو لیٹس پوز دیٹ یو بائی دی ایپ فروم اینی انویٹو مارکیٹ اور اینی مارکیٹ آن دی انٹرنیٹ اینڈ اور اف اینی ون گیوز یو دی سورس کوڈ اینڈ اف یو وانٹ ٹو ری سکن دی ایپ اینڈ اف یو آر پلاننگ ٹو اپلوڈ ایٹ ٹو پلے اسٹور دین آئی ویل بی ٹیچنگ یو آن ہاؤ یو کین ری سکن دی ایپ All right guys, so let's begin. So the first step is you need to change the package name for your Android app. So let's begin by just changing the package name. So in order to change the package name, as you can see, we have the package name as let me first of all show you here. Okay, so you will be able to see this type of structure when you open the Android Studio project. And if you want to change the package name, you need to first of all click on this and you need to uncheck this. compact middle packages okay so you need to do that and after that you can see it is now divided into separate uh, packages so yes now you can change the package names okay so if you want to change this uh, com so you need to right click on it then click on uh, refactor and click on rename and make sure that you okay so i think that we should not Uh, do this so instead of this we just uh, change this so right click on it then click on refactor then click on rename and click on rename package and after that you need to write your own package which you want to change so let's see let's say if I want to change it to my Android app and if I click on refactor so you need to click here do refactor and there you can see the it is changed and if you want to change further so you can right click on it and click on refactor and click on rename then click on rename package and then you need to change it like my new okay so if you just write that and click on refactor and you need to click on do refactor and yes now your package name is changed but there is one last step which is you again You need to now select this and there you can see we have this com dot my android app dot my new and after this what you need to do is go to build dot gradle and instead of this change it to your this one so you can say com dot my android app dot my new okay and you need to click on sync now so yes now your package name has been change so this is the primary step in which you need to have a separate and unique package name for your android app to be uploaded on google play store okay so after you change your package name the next thing is you need to change the app icon or you can say app logo okay so in order to change your app icon or app logo so first of all you need to check which app icon the application is displaying so you need to check that inside your android manifest file you need to click here and right here you will see like that android icon and it is inside this mipmap with the name of ic launcher so you can see this is the ic launcher and it is by default the android icon and if you want to change it so all you need to do is just go to mip map then uh, right click and click new and you need to click on image asset okay you after you click it then you can select this the uh, launcher icons here and then you need to click on image then you can select any image from your phone uh, i mean from your laptop directory and you will be able to display the icon so in this case let's just use a clip art and the clip art can be something like okay if i want to have like moon so i will have this moon and I, if i click next and i click finish and there you go okay so now the icon will be changed okay so the 
third step is you, you need to check if the app has AdMob ads or not. I mean, if it has ads, any ads like Facebook ads or AdMob ads or not. If the app contains the AdMob ad, so you need to change your app IDs for your banner ID and interstitial ID. So you, you will get that inside your values and strings dot xml okay since in this app we don't uh, we are not using the add mob ads so i cannot tell you how you can change that but you can only you only need to change the app id the banner id and the interstitial id the one thing more is that you will also find that in your android manifest file okay if the ads are there so you can easily find that in here so you can change it the another thing is you need to check if your project uses any other API key which is based on the server or if your application uses the fabric ID. So in order to do that you only need to check inside your build.gradle like if your application is using any Crashlytics or API key based uh, dependency then you need to change it. Okay so after that you only uh, the all the steps are complete and you can easily upload it to Google Play Store but I advise you to change your designs uh, something like you need to change the, the design so if you do not change the design I don't think that you will face any problem in uploading the file to Play Store so I hope that you have understood how you can reskin your Android app. So guys, if you like the video, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you and goodbye.